Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create something new. We will create this spiral building and we will apply some um, panels and after that we will use some attractor on this old building. So when I say it's spiral building I mean in Revit we actually cannot make the really perfect spiral building. So, uh, but how we will do that? For example, we will make it fully parametric. I will show you it right now. So I have the spiral building already. Uh, for example, I will go to the properties because all the my uh, all the my settings already here. And for like say, I will change the number of the grids to the five. And as you can see, our um, spiral now changed on the both side and this is really smooth because when uh, you creating it in Revit actually you cannot do it like that and I will show you right now so I think this enough to introduce and we already can start so let's get started actually this building I mean the mess uh, or you can create whenever you want for example you can create uh, even uh, like mess in place I mean inside your project but we will be so rightful, so we will create the new concept mass. So let's go to the inside uh, our new document, uh, Revit, Revit cons, uh, concept mass, and here we are. So this is empty project. Uh, when I say it, uh, Revit cannot make something, uh, I have two reasons to say that. So for example, here the my cycle and I will extrude it. So to create and oh sorry, to do modify, extrude it, extrude it like this and like 9 meter. Uh, as you know, Revit automatically will divide this uh, shape to the two different parts and this is actually a problem. Because if uh, I will choose this first part and I will divide to the surface and I will choose the second part I will divide to the surface. For example, I will make here the numbers like 5 and here the numbers of U grid I will make to also the 5. And now I make I want to make this spiral. So how I can do that? I will change this angle for example to 10 uh, percent and of course I will change it to 10 percent too. So you will say okay so this is awesome but we need just a bit offset one of this side. Uh, yes you are right but we have the problem. If I will uh, try to for example 500 offset it will go and as you can see it's a bit small maybe it's minus 500 let's try. So this is pretty close right? So let's make like minus 550, minus 510, and as you can see minus 525 I hope, even not, minus 530, minus 540, it's pretty close. And one more, minus 545. Even not. As you can see, you cannot make it totally right. Because uh, we have we did it here totally right, right? But you can see in the, this side, in the, this side, it's not. So, we, that's why we have the problems when we're using it like vanilla tools, I mean the Revit tools. And we need here the formulas. So um, let's try to make the other way, let's make with the formulas, like uh, I will delete the shape and I'll create new one again. So uh, let's make something interesting. So I will create uh, like here the one thing, I will do this like this. After that I will extrude it, so let's extrude it and I'll extrude like this. Okay, so we have like uh, our building already. Uh, and what I will do now, I will choose that part, edit profile, just one of this part and I will make this parameter. So how I did it, uh, just select your profile and you will see the number, just uh, click on the make temporary and select this uh, dimension. After that create the parameter and let's call it radius and let's make it instance. 
let's make it instance, let's say OK, this is OK, and let's finish it. So the second thing, uh, what I want to do here, uh, I need the height. So uh, let's choose the one of this part, and as you can see, we get our height, but we need also the uh, temporary number. So let's check, uh, let's uh, select this number and again uh, create the parameter. So, and let's call it height. Also instance, let's make it instance. Okay, so everything all right. So now what we're gonna do, I will select the one side and I will divide to the surface and I'll select this other, uh, other side and I also divide to the surface. So let's uh, le let's first change the one part. So what I, what I need here, actually I need to uh, change the uh, grid rotation, I will change to the angle. I mean I need the parameter angle angle and let's make it instance okay so we have the instance so we need few more parameters so let's go here and i'll write i need the parameter like white uh it's also will be the instance and i will change it to the integer so let's change it to integer uh no it's not will be integer sorry it's my wrong um, first i will de delete this will be more faster uh, new parameter white and this will be instance only so it's here base the white uh, let's put it somewhere here okay and we will write like it's p radius so and we will get this radius to the white now after that what we need why we need uh, uh, the white because we need a uh, node to the offset so uh, how to write offset, so this is this easy really, just white uh, sinus and angle, angle, like this I hope, yes, but we don't know our angle yet, so how we can calculate our angle, let's try it. Uh, to the calculate angle, we need the uh, one more parameter. So I will say uh, I need like uh, first grid, and I will change now to the integer. So only for this reason. Uh, how to calculate? Actually, easy. Uh, I need u grid, u grid, apply to. So I will be I will have to 20. So uh, with this all parameters now I can get my angle. So let's go to the get my angle. Uh, tangents. And divide to the uh, F uh, grid. Oh, I said grid. Okay, so let's let's leave it like grid. But it's actually grid. Grid or let's make it right uh it will be grid but uh, okay i will say grief but i will change it later on uh like this and divide by white divide by white so everything okay everything okay i hope no everything not okay because the f underscore and now I will change this parameter to the grid and I think Revit automatically will change it. So instance and I'll say okay. So as you see Revit automatically will change it. So now we know our angle. Uh, now we know the uh, our offset. So how uh, uh, how many I need offset uh, the one side. And I need I know the my radius. So everything okay. So I will change only the from 10 to the 5. I need only 5. And I'll say okay. So we get something like this. And you will say no, this is wrong. Yes, of course, because one of this part should be made to the end, not from the center to the end. So now everything okay. And as you can see, it's really cool and uh, mathematically uh, correct the model. Uh, now we can it's loaded up inside to the uh, to the Revit. I mean inside to the project, and we can apply some. Um, for example, um, let's say we can apply the some panels. So let's do. 
So now again, file, new, family, pattern based, uh, metric generic pattern based. Where is my pattern based? Uh, it's here. Let's go inside. We are inside now in pattern based and let's go to the floor plan level one. And here I will create, uh, first I will change to my grid. Let's say to 1,500 uh, by 3,000. So it will be okay. Now I will use this uh, kind of cycle. I need to make like 180, it will be enough. And here I will create extrusion. Let's create extrusion like this. Uh, the height of this extrusion I will change and I will say this is parameter H panel instance. Let's say OK. And actually 1000 is too much, I will change to 100. OK. I will change my view to the warframe and here uh, I want to make it exactly on the middle side. Where is my center? di the middle side and sorry this is will be also middle one okay so and i want to check is it working or no okay working and this one also working so it's exactly on the middle and now I want to create the uh, void just simple one let's go to 3d this is my void and as you can see we get something like this let's give to uh, we, uh, we need one more parameter actually for this thing where is my void here is my void edit profile that thing and I need the parameter of that this will be radius panel and also instance let's say ok let's say ok and let's lock profile so it means if I will change here to radius for example to 200 it will be everywhere 200 but we cannot see anything now. Let's make it to 400 to see differences. We don't see anything. So here there's something wrong. Let's check it out. Yes, I know this is 3D formats. Edit profile, edit profile. Oh, where is my parameter here? Aha, uh -huh, now I have my parameter here. And let's check it one more time, 200. So now everything worked okay. again. Let's load it inside to the my family. And just select your network and change to the new family. I think this is nine. As you can see, we get it. And here I will do one more time. And we get something like this. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.